Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have been so anxious and excited to sit down and film this video. I had this idea kind of pop up in my head several weeks ago. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and film it obviously because there have been so many other products and things that I have been trying to review. But now that I have a chance to kind of take a breath from everything and film this video, we are going to be doing a full face using only BoxyCharm makeup. 90% of this makeup I actually got in a BoxyCharm charm box. There's a couple of things that I ordered from the charm store, but it qualifies. These are all things that I've gotten directly from BoxyCharm. There are two items that I don't have. That is a setting powder and a mascara. I even have lashes from BoxyCharm. I'm like, why don't I have mascara? I think I either gave it away or misplaced it. I have no idea because mascara is something that frequently comes in the BoxyCharm box, but nonetheless, I don't have it, so I apologize, but everything else is going to be BoxyCharm. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit, and then we will get going on this full face of BoxyCharm. All right, so first things first, we are going to be starting out with a primer. This is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Now usually this would be kind of dry on my skin, but I really, really hydrated this morning because I knew that I would be doing this. It's not super drying, but I'm also going to be using a foundation that is pretty hydrating as well. So I think my skin can stand to do a little bit of pore blurring, mattifying this morning. All right, so now that the skin is primed, we are going to be going with the Wander Beauty. This is the Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick. This is in the shade. What shade do I have? It's like medium nude or something light medium of course so this is actually something that I got from the charm store I have used this a few times and I do have to say you guys I really 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 enjoy this foundation if you have charms I don't even know if this is still in the charm store I hope it is because it's actually a really really good foundation and I really really like the mascara as well oh that's right I do have that mascara it's just in my purse that one I did get in BoxyCharm and I actually really really like that mascara how the hell did I forget I guess the only thing I don't have is the setting powder sweet so I'm just gonna blend this out with my foundation brush now this foundation does have a buildable finish it's kind of like a medium coverage I would say. I like the coverage I get from it. It's light, it's airy, and I think it blends beautifully on the skin. And the color match for me is perfect. This is especially awesome if you've got really dry skin. All right, so I think I'm gonna build this up just a little bit more around the areas that I feel like I need more coverage, like around my nose. Oh, and I just put a ton of foundation in my hair. Cute. All right, so now that we have the foundation on, we're gonna move on to concealer. This is the Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer from Becca. This is in the shade Linen. So these are the two items that I got from the Charm Store. So the concealer and the foundation I got from the Charm Store. The shade is very light. I have not tried this yet, so here we go. Oh, not too bad. Eh, that's pretty light. We'll make it work. Oh, she is brightening. I don't know why I was using this end to put my concealer or to blend my concealer with. Whatever. All right, so that concealer is not half bad. Before I set everything, I'm gonna go in with the Girlactic. This is one of these skin glows. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten in the BoxyCharm boxes. This stuff is gorgeous. I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, the more champagne shade. Sorry to blind you with my mirror. I'm just gonna tap that on the high points of the cheek just to add a little bit of dimension. This stuff is like a glow from within. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink shade here and warm that up with my finger and just dab that on the apples of my cheeks here. Kind of want like a really glowy look. Perfect. All right, now we can set the face. Um, the setting powder is one thing that I don't have, so I'm going to be using just some of this Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. Make sure I don't have any creasing on the under eye. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. It's a little weird. It feels very thick and waxy, which is not usually my speed, but whatever. I mean, I did a good job concealing. We'll just set it down and see if that helps anything. I recently got over a little bit of a weird cold and all around my nose is still so dry from blowing it. So putting makeup on right now is still a little bit of a challenge. Perfect. Now that our face is set, we're going to jump into the Pure Sculptor palette. I actually really, really, really enjoyed this palette actually. So we're going to be using this kind of as a contour and a bronzer. So I'm going to dip into this shade here. This is the lightest shade Inventor. This stuff is very pigmented. A little goes a long way. You do not need to use a lot, but it's super blendable and I really, really like the colors. They're like the perfect contour shades. 
All right, so sticking with the Pure Palette, I'm gonna dip into the shade Originator and I'm actually gonna mix it with Trailblazer for the highlight. All right, so these cheeks need some blush. I'm debating between the Note Blush in the shade, if I can get this open, Desert Rose, or I have the Pretty Vulgar in the shade Make Them Blush. Which one should we use? I think I'm gonna go for the Note Blush. It's just a little bit warmer, and I really do like warmer. I'm just gonna dab that to lift the cheeks, add a little bit of color back. I think blush can really make a look. I think it's really stunning. All right, so let's go ahead and get some primer on these lids. We're gonna be using the Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. I really like this primer. I've been using it a lot off camera even. It's so good, it cancels out and it's not super drying, but you do have to work with it kind of quickly. But look at that. It pretty much cancels out any darkness or shading on the eyes and shadow looks beautiful on top of it. it definitely, definitely amplifies color and does make your shadow wear for a really nice long time. And now that our lids are primed, I'm trying to decide what palette I want to use. We have the LMR Cosmetics palette, the Crown Pro Blush palette in Fuego, and we have Elements of Surprise from ColourPop. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use the Element of Surprise palette. I'm gonna take my Morphe brush and I'm gonna dip into this shade here to start as my transition shade. Make sure I don't have any creasing. And and we'll start building up that crease. I love ColourPop shadows. They're some of my absolute favorites. They're so pigmented. They blend so easily. They're true to color on the lid as to what they are in the pan. Absolutely love them. So now we have that shade down. I'm gonna take a little bit more of a precise crease brush and I'm gonna go into this kind of maroon shade down here and put that right into the crease just to kind of deepen things up. I don't wanna fluff it out too much. That's why I'm using a little bit more of a precise brush. All right, so now that we have that shade down, let's deepen up the outer corners. I think I'm gonna dip into this kind of darker purple shade up here. I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner using the same brush. All right, so using this flat shader brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. I'm gonna pick some of that up. It's a really cool like duochrome shade. Spray my brush with some setting spray just to amplify it. Such a cool shade. It's got like a violet red shift. It's so cool. Like how I intended to do something more neutral and I ended up doing like this crazy like mauve plum duochrome look. <laughs> just kind of going with it. All right, so let's work on that lower lash line. I think I'm just gonna drag this shade down here all along the lower lash line using that more defined crease brush. All right, so to highlight under the brow bone, I'm gonna dip into the LMR Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, La Costa. Just drag that on the brow bone. And we're gonna put that right in the inner corner as well. You guys, this palette is amazing. Look at the pigment from that metallic shade. I didn't even get my brush wet. It is seriously such a beautiful palette. This palette is amazing. God, I love it. This is kind of a cool thing because now I'm reaching back into palettes that I haven't reached for in a long time. And it's actually reminding me how awesome they actually are. So let's go ahead and do some liner. I'm gonna dip into this pretty vulgar liquid pot liner here. I'm gonna use this LMR Cosmetics kind of flat brush here to pick up some of that liner. And I'm just gonna press it along the lash line. Not gonna do anything crazy with it. No winged liner or anything like that. Just cause I don't think that this look needs it. I'm just gonna press that along the lash line. All right, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Wander Beauty Mascara. This was also in a BoxyCharm box. All right, mascara liner is on. We have one more item to use. That is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe. This is their eyebrow cream. I actually really liked this product when I tried it out. I like that it comes with a little brush and the little pot on the end. It is a little bit hard to use as far as like picking up the product because you can't actually tell how much you're getting, but the product itself is really, really nice. One brow down, one to go. 
All right, you guys, brows are on. So the last step is some lipstick. We're gonna be using the Ofra lipstick in the shade Verona. Now my lips are so dry and chapped right now. Probably won't sit the best, but we're gonna try. I love this shade. This is like one of my favorite lipstick shades. All right, you guys, last step is some setting spray. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Give it a good shake because there is some shimmer in this. All right, you guys, so there you have it, a full face of BoxyCharm makeup. Kind of fudged up my eyeliner on this eye a little bit, but you know, I'm not really used to using a pot style liner like this. In fact, I don't use liner that often at all, but I figured for the sake of this makeup look and the fact that we were trying to use all things from BoxyCharm, I would dip into it because it actually really is a super good creamy matte formula and I really, really like it. All of the items that I used, I really actually did enjoy. I really like that foundation stick. Um, I think it's really cool that they actually had that in the BoxyCharm store. I forget how much I like this brow product. I do think there's a little bit of a learning curve with it if you're not used to using brow pomades, but the color is really nice. It's super opaque and it matches me perfectly, so I do enjoy that. Again, overall, I really, really, really do enjoy my makeup. This eye look is killer. It is super unique, um, but of course, it's ColourPop, so what else do you expect? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this look. Have you gone through all of your BoxyCharm items to actually see how much makeup you actually have gotten from them? I think it's pretty cool that I have enough from BoxyCharm that I could actually create an entire full face. I could have popped on some lashes if I want to, or if I wanted to, um, they have put House of Lashes in their box before, and I love the lashes. I have been reaching for those a lot, and I'm usually not a strip lash wearer, but those are so easy to apply, and they're so beautiful. So BoxyCharm really does put some amazing makeup in their boxes. So again, let me know what your favorites are. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. Love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!